5.4 Conditional Probability and the General Multiplication Rule. Conditional probability is when you have the probability of an event given that another event has occurred. So the notation P of F given E is read the probability of event F given event E. It's the probability that event F occurs given that E has already occurred. For example, in our contingency table, we want to know what is the probability that someone is an employee given that they are a teacher? So we're looking at the number of teachers, that's 324, that's the given, and we want to know how many of them are employees, and we find the 286. So the probability that someone is an employee given that they are a teacher is 286 out of 324, which is about 88.3%. If E and F are any two events, then our conditional probability rule says that the probab probability of F given E is equal to the probability of E and F over the probability of E, which is also equal to the number of outcomes that include E and F divided by the number of outcomes that, that include E. For example, if you roll two dice, find the probability of rolling a 1 given that the first one is a 2. Alright, so the probability of rolling a 1 given that the first one is a 2. So we're looking at the probability of getting a 1 and a 2 out of the probability of getting a 1, I mean a 2. Well, if we already know that we have a 2, um, then all of our sample space would include the 2. So the number of outcomes, or actually the sample space, is a 2 and a 1, a 2 and a 2, a 2 and a 3, a 2 and a 4, a 2 and a 5, and a 2 and a 6. So the number of outcomes that have a 1 and a 2 is 1. The number of outcomes that have a 2 is 6. So our probability is 1 out of 6. Let's take a look at an example. Suppose 19.1% of all criminals are between the ages of 20 and 24 years old. Now suppose that 16.6% .6 of all criminals are 20 to 24 year old males. What is the probability that a randomly selected criminal is male given that the criminal is 20 to 24 years old? So we're already given the fact that the criminal is 20 to 24 years old. So we want to find the probability that the criminal is a male given that they're 20 to 24 years old. Okay? So we find the probability that they're male and they're 20 to 24 years old, which was our 16.6%, .6 and we divide that by the probability that they're 20 to 24 years old, which was the 19.1%. And then we divide that and get about 86.9%. So there's an 86.9% chance that a randomly selected criminal is male given that we're selecting the males or the selecting the criminals out of all the 20 to 24 year old criminals. So our population in this case is the criminals that are 20 to 24 years old and we're randomly selecting one of those criminals and there's an 86.9% chance that they are male, not female. The general multiplication rule is used for depend, this rule is used for dependent events, okay? Remember we had a multiplication rule that was used for independent events. Well now when we have dependent events, um, we have P of E and F is equal to P of E times P of F given E. This is for dependent. Remember the rule when events are independent is just the product of the two probabilities. Okay, so now suppose again 19.1% of all criminals are between the ages of 20 and 24 years old, but also suppose that 86.9% of criminals are male given that the criminal was 20 to 24 years old. Yes, I know it says victim, it should say criminal. What is the probability that a randomly selected criminal is a 20 to 24 year old male. So we want to know the probability 
that they're both 20 to 24 years old and they're male. Age and gender are not independent. Okay. So, the probability that they're male and 20 to 24 years old is equal to the probability that they're 20 to 24 years old times the probability that they're male given that they're 20 to 24 years old. Okay, we know the probability of 20 to 24 year old criminals. That's 19.1. And we know the probability that they're male given that they're 20 to 24 years old. That was your 86.9. And so when you multiply those together, you get your 16.6%. Again, here, your probability, I'm sorry, your population is all the criminals. In the previous problem, the population was just the 20 to 24 year old criminals. But in this case, the population is all the criminals, any age, any gender. And we want to know what's the prob probability that a randomly selected criminal out of the entire population is going to be male and they're going to be 20 to 24 years old.